Hey YouTube, this is Kobe. Um, I've been seeing things going on around the world the uh, past few months. And I've been really disturbed by it. And I've been reading in the book of Hebrews this past week on and off. And there's this one verse that stands out. I mean, it just stands out. And there's a lot of powerful examples in this chapter that talks about faith. By all means, read them all. But I'm going to talk about this one particular verse. And I believe this is for me. Like I'm, I'm preaching to myself. And maybe you can get something out of this, okay? I'm going to start in verse 23. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was he had three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child. And they were not afraid of the king's commandments. They did what was right, no matter what the king said. Wow. They were not afraid of the king's commandments. Verse 24, by faith, Moses, when he was come two years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. We're talking about a man of integrity. He could have chose the easy route, but he didn't. Choosing rather to suffer the afflictions with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Today we are seeing people who love sin more than they love God. And that's a problem. But I'm going to focus on verse 27. By faith he, referring to Moses, forsook, it means forsake to abandon, it's talking about Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. So this is saying that while Moses was looking at Pharaoh in the physical, the visible, that he trusted God who was invisible. <laughs> so this tells me Moses, he knew God. He had a relationship with God. He knew God's voice. He knew when God spoke. He trusted in God. He believed God was going to do what God said he was going to do. He believed that God is who he says he is, right? You go back to verse 6. And he really trusted in God. So he was not scared of Pharaoh at all. Not one bit. Mm. Today we are seeing what governments are doing and the direction they're going. And I am alarmed. And I believe this verse right here has been sticking up at me for the past few days. Because God is showing me, don't be scared of governments. Be scared of God. When we operate in fear, we can't operate in faith. So we're going to have to let fear go and have faith in God that God's going to do something. That God is going to fulfill his promises. That God's not going to forsake his people. That's what we need to do. We need to get in that place like Moses was. To have that relationship with God. To know him. To know his word. To know his voice. To really trust in God. Do you really trust in God? So we need to guard ourselves in truth, and the truth is his word. So don't be scared of man. Fear God. No matter what the government's going to do or say they're going to do, fear God. God's got this. There's not a day he hasn't seen. He's still on the throne. It's the same God in all the seasons, even in the drought. So... Put your faith on God and his word, his promises, his truth. He knows the day that you're born. He knows the day you're going to die. Fear God. I love you people. Keep up the faith. We're going to get through this, right? God got this. God got this. I love you. All right, bye.